up guys got a lot of questions from pressure controls lately and how to set them and how they work so i got a dual pressure control on me guys that's all i got to show you but um they said they all work the same it's just you know two pressure controls built into one and i'll give you a quick explanation and what i set them for and that's pretty much it all right i hope you guys enjoy welcome back guys so we're just going to use this dual pressure control right now um because that's all i have on on me right now but it's the same thing you got a low pressure control here and a high pressure control it's just split and it's basically two built into one you got this is going to hook up to your low side obviously and this is going to hook up to your high side and i have these set where i would normally set them i usually set the high side around 400 to trip out that's what a lot of um automatic ones are you know like the screw on types and if they have a manual or an auto reset they're usually around 400. this particular one here has a manual reset button if it trips on high pressure you can reset it that way but this also has another feature with this screw here if you turn this all the way in all the way down so it's touching that nut as you can see it will turn it into an auto reset it all depends how you want to set it up low pressure side set the same way as any other one guys you got your high event and your differential i get a lot of questions on what i set these at for certain types of freon and honestly guys i set them all the same i usually have them cut in around 20 25 psi and i have them shutting off around you know two psi zero um that's just what i prefer that's how i like it so that's how i do it you know you have to when you're out there these aren't exactly perfect so you got to test it on a system pump it down a few times to make sure everything is coming off and on the way you want it to um i also want to mention quickly that with scroll compressors it's different um copeland recommends if you read anything that comes with their compressors scroll compressors you do not pump down as low as you do on a um you know like a hermetic or a semi-hermetic compressor scrolls can't pump that low they won't work so what i usually do for scrolls copeland recommends they shut off around 15 to 17 psi so i would normally with that i would have my high event be up around 40 maybe 45 with about a um 30 degree differential so it shuts off around 15 that's how i do it that's how you see a lot of them come from the factories and units too just remember that scrolls cannot pump down like other compressors do so and i mean it's basically it guys you hook up your flare nuts to where they got to go either on the lines or the compressors and all this does is open and close this this opens here the low side as the pressure lowers this comes down right in there and it shuts off you can also if you had to bypass it you could put a screwdriver in here and push this up right there this little piece you put a screwdriver under there you can pop that up for say pump down if you really had to get it lower than what it's set for or whatever um high side works the same way as the pressure goes up this is going to rise in here that's going to open this up to cut out your compressor so we don't uh, damage anything in a high head pressure situation and if you're on a manual the compressor is going to stay off till someone comes here and presses that button to reset it an auto one it will usually lower lower about another 100 psi say it's shut off at like 400 right here it would lower down probably to 300 275 and kick back on again i like to have them on manual but it's up to you some don't have the manual option so either way at least with a manual one when you get to the call you will know that um you know it went out on high head pressure and to find out why like i said the low side just very self-explanatory these you can set you know guys you got your screw on types you got all different kinds you know the adjustable ones are nice any brand they all work the same you know this is just a dual one it's two two controls put together it's all i had so that's what i'm using um Hopefully this will help some of you guys out with some of your questions and what different types of Freon to set them for. Like I said, I set them all the same unless it's a scroll compressor. What's up, boys? Hopefully that could help um, some people out and answer some questions that I've got online. Um, I also want to say with the with the scrolls, they can pump down that low. You can pump them, but they're going to... Um, it can damage them 
Um, Copeland says it damages them. And if you actually pump down a scroll that low, if you guys do it, you'll see when it shuts off, it has like a relief. There's like a release inside the compressor. It'll go down and it'll shut off, but then you hear it go like, and it goes back up to like 15 or whatever. There's some type of, I forget what the heck it's called, but there's some type of internal bypass or something in there. They're not made to pump that low. You know what I mean? I mean, you'll see them in refrigeration. You just got to have the pressure higher. With freezers, it get, gets a little tough, but it can be done. You know, but usually the scrolls are a lot, you know, in the air conditioning now, bigger units and stuff. And is that you'll get them in refrigeration, but more, I see them more on the coolers than freezers. You know, but you never know. You never know what you're going to run into. But um, like I said, hopefully that answered some questions for everyone. I uh, appreciate everything, guys. Thanks for all the comments on my last video. Apparently you guys like that one. So I'll try to get into some more wiring stuff. I wish I could show more on the field. I think for me myself, it would make it a lot easier for me to see it. It's just I have to come across it, guys, and be in a particular situation, you know, to, to find those things. So it's hard. But Anyways, if you're new, consider subscribing, guys. For all you that have been here, I appreciate every one of you guys. And uh, I'll catch you boys in the next one.